we are going to take some attention off of the women today. We are going to focus on the men and some things that makes them happy because they are a vital part of the relationship as well, right? Well, it's not all about you. I'm Angelina, life coach, artist, author, and entrepreneur. This is where information and knowledge causes transformation and healing. Sometimes as women, we always focus on what we want, want, want. I was that selfish woman too. So I know it's okay to give, give, give in your relationship. In fact, this is a 50-50 thing. Give, it's okay. Give what you can, give what you got. Make that a, an effort in your relationship and don't always leave that pressure on him to be the giver. Secondly, he can't read your mind. I've heard people say, he's my man, he should know what I want. All these years, he knows what I need. He can read my mind. No, he can't. I've had experiences. Yeah, it has happened. I wanted something and boom, he got it. It was there. I'm like, oh, he can read my mind. But that doesn't mean that you do not communicate your needs and your wants. He has so much on his mind. Bless his heart that sometimes bluntly you slip right on past. <laughs> it's not it's not about you in his head anymore. He has his businesses, he has, you know, to chase the bag, he has to be the provider and the man. And sometimes those things take precedence in his mind. And so it's not all about you. So communicate. My next tip Stop disrespecting the man. Oh my God, this is a deal breaker for most. You cannot down him to other people. You cannot down him to him. That says more about you than it does him. If you're out there telling people all these no good things about him, then they're like, wow, you must be crazy. <laughs> Not only that, when you say those things to him, he's thinking, if I'm this no good person and if I'm this, all this negative stuff and she's with me, hmm, what does that say about her? <laughs> My next tip, stop trying to control and change him. He is not a science project. He is not a hobby. He is a human being with his own interests and desires that not all the time have to do with you. So stop trying to control that. Stop trying to be his driver. Let him drive. You focus on your life. Focus on yourself because you are the only person that you can control and change. As soon as you get that aspect, idea in your head, you can have a happier relationship, and a happier life. My next tip is to listen. I know you got so much you want to say, and all this stuff in your head matters over everybody else, but please do not let your selfish intent overcrowd his needs as, as well. Listen to what he has to say, and don't always yap, yap, yap. Sometimes it's okay to just be. Yeah. My next tip is don't chase. I had a mantra for that. I forgot what it was. Oh, don't chase, give space. Now, he needs his space because he's an individual. You're not all attached. Yeah, you're one in spirit and la, 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 but he needs his space. He doesn't need you chasing him, stalking him at the boy's house. 
<laughs> calling his phone like a mad person. I once did that. I know all it does is when you try to chase and force is you build resistance and he, he runs a little further. So don't chase, give space. Remember that mantra and you can provide a happier environment for you and your spouse to grow and not wither up and die. We don't want those type of relationships anymore. We want those healthy, happy relationships in 2020. No more toxic anything. Good luck. Let me know in the comments, what is it about your relationship that bothers you the most? I would like to interact with you. So in the comments, let me know what bothers you the most in your relationship. And maybe we can tackle that issue in my next video. Wow, that went well, didn't it? <laughs>